just one moment as I try and make it out of this water in time. <sighs> and how are you doing? Welcome back to the Minecraft Snapshot Showcase for you guys uh, here today. And I'm going to be going over the 18W09A, uh, which is going to be for the aquatic uh, update that's coming. Also, if you can, drop the video, like, and share it. It is much appreciated and shows your support for the channel. So I'm going to be going over some of the features uh, here. If you already haven't noticed before, uh, which I believe it was a snapshot before this one, uh, we now have fish. Yes, look at this. So you can actually see the fish. Hello, squid. This looks so awesome, uh, by the way. So you can see the actual uh, fish here kind of swimming along. I really love this. It almost feels like I'm playing on like an add-on, but then I realized, no, this is going to be coming into the game this is just so amazing and I love it uh, a lot so what are some changes what did they add I'm gonna be going over the change log list uh, right now so some changes that they added is they added underwater ruins they also added new coral blocks and it says phantoms no longer spawn in the end and phantoms uh, despawn in the daytime. So phantoms, of course, uh, are those mobs that spawn in, which I'll spawn one up. Now I'm actually going to fly up. It's so cool, like when you sprint and fly in water now, like being that we have the new animation. It's like you can swim really, really fast. I kind of feel like Aquaman. It's so cool. Like, that is amazing. I just love that feature uh, so much. But being that there is, ah, uh, there's a little island here. I'll just go to this island very quickly. So again, if you don't know what the Phantom is, if you sleep, if you don't sleep, uh, it will come out at night and come down and bite you, uh, basically. So they will swarm you. So make sure you sleep at night in this new update, guys, because you don't want the Phantoms uh, to come and get you. Uh, also, I remember I did actually mention in the previous previous uh, video as well which we covered a snapshot which was covering uh, all the new features as well in this aquatic update or snapshot or update however you prefer to call it uh, what happened is I said that I would make goodbye phantom how are you uh, I did mention that I would show him actually attacking me but I didn't so I do apologize uh, for that so yeah I will make sure that I do it to where yeah I will get the phantom to actually attack me at some point so I do apologize uh, for that guys because I did get a lot of comments as well uh, on that but I mean it's <laughs> that hurt don't do that again <laughs> leave me alone leave me alone but again they will despawn uh, in the daytime so there you have it guys so make sure you again you sleep um, just make sure you oh he just came down and bit me again all right I need to go to creative because this is just getting too scary for me right now way too scary so yeah they also optimize particle rendering slightly now let's talk about the underwater ruins we were actually just at one. Oh, this is so cool just seeing that phantom uh, up there so it says they come in many different shapes and sizes. It says cold ruins can be found in cold, frozen ocean biomes, regardless of depth. Also, warm ruin ruins uh, can be found in warm uh, and lukewarm, deep lukewarm <laughs> biomes. So that's also uh, one thing too. Uh, but let's go ahead and check this out now. It says they also can generate alone or in a big ruined village, apparently. But let's go ahead and go down. And here we have like a, a smaller, this is actually a, a pretty decent size one. I, I saw one when I first spawned in. I had to actually locate this one. But I did spawn in by one and it was really small. It was only like just this size but you can get treasure uh, from here which is very very cool so it says you can also sometimes find them slightly underground or slightly above uh, sea level and they says they can contain mysterious treasures so mysterious that they haven't even added real treasure yet and of course there's more to come in future uh, snapshots so uh, let's go ahead and check out what's inside of here uh, now if we can have any tre I don't know oh wait here's a chest here so it looks like in this one we have a fishing rock curse of vanishing now I like this a lot because again they are focused on the underwater you know like this is again is the aquatic update so again this is really neat neat the fact that they're adding things that you know it makes people want to go underwater I feel like the ocean monument wasn't enough but being that they have turtles they have dolphins you can probably most likely find the trident in this as well like in these ruins it's amazing like this is gonna be so cool and again all these bubble sound effects also sound really cool as well uh, so yeah also be careful of that because it can suck you down but uh, yeah I'm gonna see if I can find some treasure in here I don't know if they're like buried sometimes I have no idea 
Uh, I did find just one chest, but of course you'll get like underwater stuff uh, in these things. I could like go around and see about finding them, but I just love the fact that this update is coming out. The fact that it's just, it's just gonna make me want. Oh, here's a chest here. It's gonna make me want to go underwater a lot more, and, and that just pulled me down. Like I didn't even move. I went over it, and it just pulled me straight down. See? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys this. So I'm I can't even like go up. If I go up, here we go. I get up going like off a fly, and it just pulls me straight down. Really cool. Let's see what's in here. Here we have a book of fire aspect too. So kind of like stuff you would find in like uh, kind of like mobs, like dungeons and things. I mean, for now, again, the treasure will change, but the fact that they actually have treasure, I can't even move. Like I'm trying to like go up and I can't move. I have to go off of it to move. Hey, stop pulling me down, please. All right, that's gonna take some getting used to after a while. So again, be very, very careful. And look at the fishies as well. So cool. I love it a lot. Now, there's also another thing with coral as well. I'm going to see if I can maybe find um, another ruin. So I might just like swim around. I'm actually going to swim around here. Hold on. Here we go. I'm going to swim around very, very fast and talk about the coral until I actually find one. So with the coral, they says it comes in five colors, blue, pink, purple, red, and yellow. So I'm going to show you guys that above uh, land, actually. Ooh, look at, whoa, <laughs> that is amazing. This is so cool, guys. I believe this was added in the previous snapshot, but oh my goodness, that is so awesome like again like who would not want to swim around like all day like inside like I, oh, this is just amazing it's so cool like i just want to stay underwater the whole time i feel like like being above land now doesn't even interest me anymore it's weird like this is just amazing all right i'm gonna see if i can maybe i may have to locate one but i just want to test my luck and see if i can find one uh at all but i kind of feel like i won't get lucky on finding one now I can't wait wait a second wait a second I have a I have a thought I have a thought we'll, we'll check over here and it looks like we're in like a frozen ocean biome I uh, hear and it looks like there should be one around here depth oh wait here's one right here ladies and gentlemen would you look at this a brand new one ah uh, here there's also like a I don't know why there's like a block of obsidian there but that's pretty cool though. Um, let's check in here and see if we can get some loot. Ooh, this one has a luck of C3. Also axe, some coal. Again, just some like loot uh, there, which of, of course that again, remember it's going to change, but this is amazing. Uh, I love it so much. Oh, here's also like another chest over here. Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna see what's in this chest. It's already like two chests we've just found. And there's probably more inside of the other ones. Let's see what's in this one, which we probably have to break these. Oh, another, this one has lore three. Oh, this is so cool. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and check out these coral blocks. I know we're like in the middle, oh, wait, here's, here's land. So we should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to day now, um, just so we can actually uh, see things. So let's go ahead and go over to this island. And what we'll do is we'll check out the coral uh, as well. So I uh, remember the colors of the coral is gonna be blue, pink, purple, red, and yellow. And it requires water to stay alive. So if we just type in coral, there's all our blocks. So we have dead coral, we have blue, uh, of course, pink. This is purple, uh, red, and yellow. So let's go ahead and grab this so we can see what this looks like. Now, you're probably wondering like, what is the dead coral? Now, just in case if you don't know that, I can show you, I don't even actually need to grab it. So basically, if you, you can place coral underground, and of course, that's kind of what gives it life and color. So as you can see, I'm placing yellow there, uh, red there. So looks very good underwater. Uh, so if we just, again, it, it has the color only when it's underwater uh, here, but they look amazing. And again, I'm curious to see if anyone's gonna do some underwater builds uh, with this. Hopefully the texture maybe changes. It kind of looks a little bit similar to other blocks, but overall it is very good. And I do like the way it looks uh, as well. But let's go ahead and go up on this. Now, if you were to place this, of course, on land, it becomes dead. Yes, yes, it is, it, it's dead. So uh, that is how you get dead coral. So they said if it dies, it dies. Uh, sorry, so that means it's no bringing it back to life. So you can't like, you know, if it touches water again, also look, we have like fish in a bucket, which is also uh, very cool here. But yeah, if it touches water, it doesn't come back to life. So if I was to put water on that, 
of course, it will not come back to life, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem. And that that just also died, of course, because the water uh, is gone. So if it's dead, it's dead. And, um... Uh, yeah, also they said world generation uh, to come in a future snapshot and they says uh, of course all of this is are only uh, obtainable uh, in the creative uh, menu too. Oh, look at that. Look at the puffer fish going in. Goodbye. <laughs> and they, they kind of like blow up as well, which is also super cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm in love with this update. Seriously, I, I am so in love with this update. You have no idea. Like, I love how Minecraft does this. It just brings like a whole breath of new life into it. It almost feels like a new game completely. And I love that uh, so, so much. Uh, but that's pretty much it, you guys. Just a general uh, update on some of the features. Again, there's going to be another snapshot to come out. And hopefully, again, there will be, of course, more new features in it as well, which I will also uh, try and cover. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave, like, and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe for more. Let me know what's your favorite feature so far uh, in this update. And I will see you all in the next one.